Hey friends, it's uh, March 14th and this is going to be my first full day in the Acapulco home that I'm inviting anyone who wants to come and relax and chill out and just uh, heal with me and others um, are invited to come um, Yeah, and just show up and there'll be a space for you. Uh, I just want to say really quickly that the house is a little smaller, not as big and spacious as I was expecting, and not really as like new or modern as I was expecting from the pictures that I saw. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna make it work and we'll make it work. And I'm just gonna give you a little tour so you can see what it's like and make sure that it's something that you'll feel comfortable with when you get here. Uh, so right here is basically the gate to come into the house and then the stairs this is the house here um and then this is basically like the parking area and then over here you've got some stairs to the rooftop which is probably my favorite part of the house um but we're gonna come up here this morning there were like five mangoes on these steps we've got a big mango tree here that is dropping mangoes like every day uh, and there's some mangoes there, some ripe mangoes. So we're gonna have plenty of mangoes and there's mango trees like all around this place just like lying in the street that you can forage. Mango. And then so this is the door to the main house. And there's Marina. Yes. <laughs> so, do you want to claim any of these mangoes? Oh, I think I'm okay right now. Thank you. You can have as many as you want. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So, this is where I stayed last night. This is kind of the first bedroom here. And there's a safe here, so you can store all of your precious belongings uh, whenever we go out. So, bedroom number one. And the kitchen, there's my juicer, and some mangoes that I just grabbed this morning. And a nice little balcony area. So over there, that's a mango tree. And down there by the sidewalk, I watched these two women. There's like probably over 30 mangoes down there that uh, were in the middle of the street that they just kind of like swipe to the curb with their broom like the mangoes are everywhere and they're almost like a nuisance for the people here <laughs> so they just like sweep them to the curb uh, which is perfect for people that like us that want to forage uh, they're just everywhere so this here is like a small bedroom a little space for someone to sleep and then the bathroom and there's three bathrooms and I believe three showers. And then downstairs there's some different rooms, not necessarily as private as some people might like, but there's the first bed. And then another balcony area down here and then two more beds in this space. Is it alright if I come in there, Marina? Oh, I don't mind at all. Awesome. So this is the last bedroom. Um, air conditioning. And then there's a private bathroom and this bedroom with a shower. Kind of a tiny yeah. <laughs> shower. It, it wets the whole floor. Yeah. It's all a little bit smaller than I was hoping for, but I think we'll make it work. The sheets are all clean. Yeah, <laughs> the sheets are nice and clean. All the pillowcases, all the sleeping. Yeah. And then probably my favorite part of the house is going to be the rooftop up here. I laid out here on my yoga mat this morning uh, naked. It was really nice and did some meditation up here. Uh, here's like the pool, rooftop pool. Probably can't see that very well. 
There we go. And then up there is another bathroom and shower. That's all that is, really. Um, some nice chairs for relaxing. A fire pit that probably no one will use, maybe. Maybe if we just want a nice fire to chill out around while we're here. But yeah, super beautiful. Lots of space. Lots of space for hanging out and just chilling and drinking and tons of mangoes here just like right here uh, easily pickable and palm trees coconuts super nice and a nice view of like the mountains back there another thing is that we're in sort of I don't know an area that's a little difficult to get to and there's kind of a lot of construction going on in this area uh, which is one thing that I don't know uh, wasn't super exciting and then here's a few more mangoes and then these stairs just lead right back down to the uh, parking area down there So that's just a super quick look at the house that I'm staying at um, in Acapulco, Mexico. And uh, if you want to come chill out with me for about a month or however long you want, you can come for a week, two weeks, uh, whenever you want while I'm staying here. And uh, I'm going to be trying to mostly fast on liquids. Uh, and I encourage anyone who wants to detox and also connect with other humans, like-minded humans, uh, get some sunlight. I know I've been lacking vitamin D in the United States and so it feels super nice to get the sun here. Um, yeah, if that sounds nice to you, we'll probably go to the beach every once in a while, get some fruit, uh, go exploring, all that good stuff. Then you can join a, the Facebook group called uh, Tropical Fasting Love Group. You can just look that up on Facebook and join that and get details about the house, about the uh, address, and just kind of stay connected with the group that's coming. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope to hear from you and maybe see you soon. Love you very much. Talk with you in the next video.